오빤 강남스타 강남스타 Welcome to another edition of Search for Sasquatch with Tom Abernethy. And I'm your host, Tom Abernethy. We meet here next to this dried up tank just to show you a good place to search for prints. I found a couple of squatch prints here. Oh, I don't know, two, three years ago. We thought we'd come out here since it's been dry. It'd be a good place to look for prints. Maybe some rubs on trees, maybe some torn off branches like those cedar trees you saw earlier. We have a great show for you today. We had a, we think we had a pretty close encounter with the Squatch. Also had an encounter with a elusive pit viper. We'll look at that. But join us on our adventure for the search for Sasquatch with Tom Abernethy. And I'm Tom Abernethy. Again, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and we've already gone over one game camera, the SpyPoint IR-7. This is the Moultrie game camera. It's the model. MFHDGS-I35 and this takes six C cell batteries and the battery life on this game camera is pretty pretty good so I uh, I would love for Moultrie to, to throw a sponsorship our way but they but if they don't we'll still use their product because it's a good good game camera that's Moultrie game camera squatchy Again, when it's dry, you just kind of want to walk these dried tank beds looking for squatch prints or a tire. It might be a good toy for a squatch. They might throw that around. But you just never know what kind of prints you might, you might find or a water bottle. But these dried tanks like this, good squatch habitat. Never want to leave a dried tank bed left unsearched. Squatchy. Just above the dried tank, we have creek feeding feeding into the tank, and this is just a good good uh, path to to walk and look for prints. Maybe some torn up cedar trees, maybe some hair. You just never know what you might find. But a lot of animals, including the squatch, will will use these creek beds as a highway. Squatchy. We received the results from the last hair sample, which were inconclusive. However, we just found this walking along the creek bottom, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is squatch hair. We're going to send it in again, see what it is. But this is looking really squatchy. I'm liking this creek bottom. Out in the West Texas town. It's another cedar tree where a sasquatch has marked his territory this one's probably about eight feet tall in height based on the cedar tree probably a good four or five hundred pounds of squatch we're moving on i forgot the year we've just heard a sasquatch call we've got a sasquatch making a call That is a squatch. I'm Abernathy here. We just had a close encounter with the Squatch. I brought my arrows with the tranquilizer in there. We've also got our, our decoy to try to draw them in. If we can get one in close, we're going to put a trank arrow in, track them, take it back home, and get the, get the Sasquatch myth taken care of. But if we can get, we had, we got probably within 50, 60 yards, which is stuff's too thick to get a trank in them. So we're going to try to do this safe and ethically. But We'll come back and sign in when we have a squatch. When you're squatching, you've got to be careful because there are venomous cobras in the woods. <clears throat> Western Diamondback, squatchy. Always have a venom kit with you. Tom Abernathy here. 
We had a close encounter with a rattlesnake today. That's why I trust Sawyer Snake and Bug Bite Kit. Extractor Kit. Comes with everything you need. In case you get bit by a bug or rattlesnake, you don't become Sasquatch food. That's Sawyer Snake and Bug Bite Kit. Sawyer. Squatchy. You've got mail. Howdy. Tom Abernathy here with Search for Sasquatch. Welcome to our mail section where people can email us questions and we'll try to answer them. First email is from Richard in Shallowwater, Texas, over around Lubbock. Richard writes, Tom, what can I do to sharpen my skills to become a world-class squatcher like yourself? Good question, Richard. Well, first you can continue to watch Search for Sasquatch with Tom Abernathy, and I'm your host, Tom Abernathy, to learn some tricks and tips and, and see different country. Two... Just get out in the woods and look for sign. Listen, go out at night, do some tree knocks, try some howls, some sound blasting. Just get out and enjoy enjoy nature. Three, look for a Bigfoot or Sasquatch club in your area. Around Lubbock, there's got to be plenty, plenty of clubs, plenty of squatchers in that area. Try to find one and see if uh, you, can, you can buddy up with somebody there and maybe do some squatch hunts at night. Good question, Richard. Our next question is from John and Benbrook again. Oh, goody. Tom, you suck, you jack... Bad word. John, yeah, I don't even know how to respond to this. Uh, I guess I guess I guess have a heckler, and uh, I, you must like the show because you've, you've watched it several times now and have sent me two letters. So continue watching. Enjoy it. We'll read your letters every time. We'll invite you on the show if you want to be a part of it and go from there. But thank you for the letters. Keep them coming, as always. If you have a question, comment... Send us an email, tomabernathy22 at gmail.com, tomabernathy22 at gmail.com. We also have a Facebook page, search for Sasquatch with Tom Abernathy. You'll see our page there. Join us, like us. That concludes our show for this evening, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Sasquatch is as you will it. Stay squatchy, my Sasquatch brothers and sisters. <laughs> Tom Abernathy here. We had a close encounter with a rattlesnake today. That's why when I trust... Take two. Tom Abernathy here. This is our mail segment of the tape. Get out of here, dog! Dog! Get! Get out of here, you dog! Dang dog. Tom Abernathy here. I'm hearing some Sasquatch calls. We're gonna... We're gonna make some calls. See if we can't get a response. Oh, there's one now. <coughs> oh, Bad dang word. It. Son of a bad word. Gosh darn it. Gangnam Style